In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Slidger's Vibrant Visual Shaders for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this, where you're able to find a written step-by-step -step guide along with all the necessary files and tools that you will need. So step number one is to install the Iris Shader Loader. So underneath step number one, you're going to see this link over here that says Iris Shader's official website. And all you want to do is you want to press on it. Then you want to press on download now. Then you want to go ahead and select on download universal jar just like so. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see that irisinstaller.jar file on the top right like so, but if you don't, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. And what you want to do from here is you want to drag and drop the iris installer to your desktop just like this, then return back over to the website and now let's install the Slidger's Vibrant Shaders. So you want to go ahead and press on this link right over here underneath step number two. And now what you want to do is you want to go to the right menu and where it says game versions, please go ahead and select on Iris just like so. Then you want to go ahead and download the most recent version. Make sure it does work for your version of Minecraft. So again, for this video, we're working with Minecraft 1.21.10 and you're going to notice that it's actually not in this list, but that's okay. So for example, it is still going to work on 1.21.10, even though over here it doesn't appear. So guys, don't get too stressed out about that. But all you want to do is you want to press on these three dots that says download file. And now it is going to begin to install. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24-7 unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. The best part about having a simple game hosting server is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your server. You can make it crossplay, bedrock only, java only, etc. And you can also add mods, mod packs, and plugins with the click of a single button. They also have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything and 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. If that is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Anyways, guys, that's, you know, if you're happy on me. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the shader to your desktop, just like so. And then bam, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and return back over to the website. So the next thing you want to do is you want to install Java if you haven't already. So Java is used for anything modded Minecraft related, downloading shaders, etc. Basically anything that involves modifying Minecraft is going to require Java. So underneath step number three, you're going to see this link over here that says download Java here. And you just want to go ahead and press on it just like so. Then it is going to take you to this page and make sure that JDK21 is selected. Then over here, please make sure to select on your operating system. So you're able to download Java, whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I will go ahead and select on this. Then I would install the x64 installer right over here. And then it's going to walk you through the entire setup wizard. And downloading Java is actually incredibly easy. It doesn't take up too much time. And also it is completely free. You may need to restart your device in order for Java to be applied on your system. So please be prepared to do that. All right, once you're done with that, you should now have three things. You should have Java installed on your system. You should have the Slidger's Vibrant Shaders file and the Iris installer. What you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and right click on Iris installer, then go ahead and press on open with. Now, if you did download Java, like I previously mentioned, then you're going to see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so. Then where it says select game version, make sure to select on 1.21.10. Then go ahead and press on install just like this. And once it says completed, you can go ahead and close out of it. Then open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, guys, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations. Now where it says versions, please make sure that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. And then in this list, you should see Iris and Sodium for 1.21.10 or whatever version of Minecraft you did decide to download it for. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the open installation folder right over here then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this and all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see the folder called shader packs and yep here it is and then from here you just want to open up the shader packs folder and then go ahead and minimize the minecraft launcher and all you want to do is you want to drag and drop the slidgers vibrant shader inside of your shader packs folder then once you're done with that go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder return back to the minecraft launcher go ahead and locate iris and sodium then go ahead and press on play press on i understand then go ahead and press on play all right, guys, so here we are in Minecraft, and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into any Minecraft world. All right, guys, so once you're in Minecraft, here's what you need to do in order to apply the shader. You want to go ahead and press on options, then press on video settings. Then you're going to notice the video settings menu is going to look slightly different. Then go ahead and press on shader packs. And then there you go. You're now able to see the Slidger's vibrant shaders. And all you want to do is you want to select on it, then go ahead and press on apply. 
then go ahead and press on done, press on done, press on done, and then back to game. And as you're able to tell, we now have the shader officially working, and it honestly does look pretty good. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, french fries.